Uh, hello, this will be a demonstration of Proposition 28 from Book 3 of Euclid's Elements, which states that in equal circles, equal straight lines, cut off equal arcs, the minor equal to the minor, and the major equal to the major. What we are given is the circle ABC equal to the circle DEF, like so. And in ABC, we have the straight line AB equal to the straight line DF in the circle DEF. The straight lines here are equal. Excuse me. Such that they cut off the major arcs ACB and DEF like this. So that's the major arc. It's greater than a semicircle. And subsequently, the minor arc AGB and DHF. Right, so these are the minor arcs that are less than a semicircle. What we have set out to prove is that the arc AGB is equal to the arc DHF, and the arc ACB is equal to the arc DFE. So this arc is equal to this arc, and this arc is equal to this arc. Um, the major is equal to the major, and the minor being equal to the minor. The major is not equal to the minor, and the minor is not equal to the major. That's why Euclid adds that little addendum in the enunciation. We begin by finding the center of the circle ABC, we call it point K. When we find the center of the circle DEF, we call that point L. We do this obviously by proposition 3, 1, and we join these straight lines A, K, K, B, D, L, L, E. That's postulate 1. Now, because the circles ABC and DEF are equal circles, we know that the radii in them must be equal, so we can say that AK is equal to DL, and KB is equal to LE. It's definition 3, 1. And we were also given that the straight line AB is equal to the straight line DE. And so in these two triangles, AKB and DLE, we have three sides equal to three sides. And so by 1, 8, these triangles AKB and DLE must be equal in all respects. Namely, that the angle AKB is equal to the angle DLE. Now, we had shown in Proposition 326 that equal angles stand on equal arcs. And so the angle AKB being equal to the angle DLE um, stand on equal arcs. Namely, that the arc AGB is equal to the arc DHE. This is the first thing we set out to prove. And because the whole circle is equal to the whole circle, the whole circle ABC is equal to the whole circle DEF, we can subtract um, this segment here, the segment AGB, and the segment DHE. We know these segments uh, must be equal. They're, on, um, they're contained by equal straight lines and equal arcs, and so the segments uh, must naturally be equal. Excuse me? And so if we subtract that segment and that segment, what we are left with is the arc ACB and the arc DFE, and equals having been subtracted from equals, we know that these remainders must be equal, so that we can say that the arc ACB is equal to the arc DFE. This being what we set out to prove, we are then done with the proposition, therefore, etc. QED. I have nothing to add to this proposition. So I will move on to 329.